Welcome back, everybody. It's a beautiful October morning. I think my horse is dead. What are you doing, man? That's weird. You okay? Health is zero. Reproduction is zero. Why? Why is that? Got food. Got water. Why is the health zero? What am I missing? I'm missing something. Something's wrong. Here's food. Here's water. Cleanliness. I rode him yesterday. Health is zero. I don't get it. I don't get it. Horses. Ugh. All right. Uh, let's ignore the horse. Let's ignore the horse for now. All right. So money's up. I did uh, take down like I kind of went down the side here and took out like a whole row of trees. I'm still working on it, but I kind of had a goal. I had a goal and that was to buy a stump grinder. And uh, the idea was that I would buy a stump grinder and then I would uh, use it and then sell it again. Uh, but I've come up with a different strategy, different plan. Let's let's see what I got brewing. So uh, stump grinder, where was it? Uh, in forestry equipment, uh, the one that I had that would work for my horsepower was this guy, 27,000. And I had raised just over this, but I, I just rested and got some, some interest from our loan and all that kind of stuff. After that, it kind of goes into these things. Um, problem is 150 horsepower, I don't have it. I don't have that kind of horsepower. 200 horsepower. So I was like, wow, that's a lot of money to spend on just a stump grinder that I'm gonna use very rarely. But I came up with a different plan. I found another stump grinder right in here somewhere. Where is it? 2,500 bucks for this one. Huge difference. Huge, huge difference. Um, so then I thought, okay, well, I need a skid steer, right? So I jumped in here, had a look, and I found this guy for 15,000 bucks. And so I buy this. And then I will have not only a stump grinder, but I'll have a skid steer too. Which I don't really need quite yet, but I'm sure at some point I will. So this isn't my favorite skid steer, but I can replace this later. So I think I'm just going to do that, guys. I think I'm just going to buy this guy. What's the designs? I want the forestry, extra money, colors. And get black. I don't want black. Forest green. Nah, I'll just stick with the standard John Deere colors. Okay, let's do that. We're gonna buy it. I'll show you why I really need a stump grinder. Um, all right. So the combos in here included this guy. All right. So let's buy that. Actually, can I get a John Deere green? Or a red, so I don't lose it in the grass. Okay, let's uh, teleport over. Yeah, I've been working on this slowly, but uh, this thing is not great for... I can load like one one row. I can't load any higher with this. It's too difficult. So I'll have to figure that out or just stop doing forestry stuff altogether. Yeah, teleport, 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 teleport. How's everybody doing today? Uh, things bigger than the actual skid steer. Okay, and oh, this thing's loud, I remember. I remember now. And this thing's loud. So on here, I've got 1100 liters of lime and I gotta be honest that's nothing that's I can't even do a small field with that so I'm having some thoughts about this thing 
Uh, using it. That said, wow, this stuff is loud, man. Actually, I'm silly. I could just turn down. I could just turn down my own volume. Um, but I don't know. Like somebody suggested, maybe I should. Oh, holy smokes! I could sell that thing. Thirty thousand bucks. I would buy a lot of lime up from the store. I own it. It's not on my land, though, which is kind of weird. But apparently I can sell it. Okay, I gotta think about that one. Yeah, somebody suggested that in the comments in a previous episode. Come on, putt putt. All right, guys, this is going to take like three hours to get back to the farm. I'll be, I'll see you in a minute. All right, I'm back. One thing I did not check on this um, thumb grinder is how much horsepower is required and whether this skid steer actually has the horsepower. Just, you know, assume skid steer, skid steer, right? So, um, what did I do? What did I do that I need this thing for so much? Uh, I went ahead and cut in another field. Uh, this one is going to be a grass field. And uh, there's two stumps on it that are right in the middle of the field. And I need to get rid of them. So, you can see it in the distance there. There's nothing drilled in yet because I just didn't want to deal with the tree stumps. But... Our wheat's coming up okay, and uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I made a racetrack. A racetrack, oops. Oats are coming up okay, probably going to need to do some fertilizing there. Oh, this thing is brutally slow though. So I started cutting down some trees in the middle, like in, in the open areas, just to try to get rid of them so I could make fields. Quickly came to realize that um, I probably should not even bother. I'll just work around them. Just make fields around them. I'm trying to get out of the forestry stuff. Here's my two stumps. See how this goes. Come on. Come on. Okay, we got one. Awesome. I managed to plow around it pretty good. There we go. Okay. That worked just dandy. Just dandy. All right, so we're going to get some grass put in here. Got a worker on that, probably. It's a nice long rectangular field. We'll use it for repeated grass, grass cutting. And I have a few more stumps up here somewhere out, out in the middle of nowhere where I think we're going to try to put in another field. But there's no urgency for it, but I may as well just go over there now anyways. I think there's some over by that, that, that big uh, cluster of trees back there. And then there's some out here somewhere. I definitely wanted this done because I'd like to get another field up here somewhere. Yeah, here I can see it. Yeah, there's one of them. There's some. There's another one back there. I missed it. Well. Okay. 
I think that's done. There's one here. I think there's one in the bushes. There's one in here somewhere. This one might be hard to see. Oh no, it's here. Actually, there might be two. There's one I see. Yeah, okay. Let's do, do this, get it out of the way. There's a chip. Okay, ship's gone. There's one right here. There we go. That's the one I thought was going to be hard. I thought there was only three, but... And some more. Oh. Okay, I think we're done. If there's another piece, then it'll be... It'll show up. Alright. Enough of that silliness. Uh, you know what? Let's just leave this out here, because I might have to go back there. Okay, so, enough of this. I'm going to start drilling that field. With grass. Just get that out of the way. I'll show you the racetrack I made. Actually, you know what? Can I pull? I think I can. Let me pull the seed drill with this guy. Uh, actually, why don't we just... Uh, what do I want to do here? Ah, uh, we'll bring it all back. Instead of leaving stuff in the grass. Got some more trees down later. For now, we got some other projects I want to do. You see I have silage pit covered up again, so I did mow a bunch of grass. But yeah, I did it too. Alright, all my implements go over here. For what reason I don't know. I should probably paint paint the ground. And let go of that. And then I don't need the weight to drill. Put the weight here too. Anybody know what the deal is with that horse? Well, oh, it's not dead anymore. Um, okay, seed drill's already in place. I'm ready to go. Oh, I bought something else. I forgot to show you guys this. This was only like a thousand, maybe. The mulcher. I started doing some just to test it out. It works okay, so we'll do, do a little bit of mulching later. Check my fertilizing status on these fields. I picked up all the stones. Yeah, I plowed it all out. Picked up all the stones in the field. Super duper fast stone. I'm a bob. All right, uh, I don't know if I have enough seed or fertilizer, but let's give it a go. Uh, come on, worker. Do your work. Can't really afford workers yet, but I got other stuff to do. Uh-oh. Not sure why this is going so slow. I'm a little confused. Is it I'm spinning? Yeah, I'm spinning a bit, I think. What's the horsepower requirement for that? Alright, let me just jump 
I thought it was really low for this thing. It needs 60 horsepower. And my tractor is... Oh, it's only 37. Oh, I thought it was like 60 for some reason. Okay. Alright, that solves... Well, it doesn't solve that, but that explains that. Alright, I guess we're going to use the... Uh, I guess we have to use our little orchard tractor. We'll use this for something else. So I was thinking about this series and realizing, you know what, one of the things that I do sometimes, especially in a kind of a challenge where there's a goal, I start um, building out, and I just start building out, and I don't focus on the actual goal. So I'm going to try to actually knock out the goals, you know, as early as I can with this series. So we do have a couple of things to do today. Um, hopefully bring us closer to the stage one goals. Oh boy, that was weird. Um, okay. That's better. So this tractor here is, I think it's 90, 90 horsepower. There is an upgrade or two to it, so I can make it a bit more powerful, but this is obviously a lot better. Get out of the way. Okay, so oats is going to go into flour. Wheat is going to go into flour. Um, oats, some of the oats are going to go to feed the horse, but I want to set up something else right now. Right now. We're going to do it right now. And if you're wondering when we're going to do it, it's now. Uh, sheep barn. We have to get up to two more animal pastures, smallish. And uh, I picked this one out, 5,000 sheep pasture, 30 sheep. That would be good enough for now. And, and, oh, there's those stumps too I need to do. Okay. I was thinking about it, and I want to put it right here. And I'd like to put it a bit close to the field to try to line it up a little bit. Yeah, right around here somewhere. Okay, we're going to do that. 5,000. Boom. All right, so that's one of the goals that we've started working on. And I have the ability to generate grass so that I can feed the sheep and I have the ability to get water. So we can get going on that pretty soon. And then I wanted to do chickens as well, but now I think I don't have enough money for the chicken barn I want. So we're going to have to raise that. What's this doing here? This is at only 38%. So we got a little ways to wait on that. So we won't make money there. All right, what's next, guys? Um, let's go for a little ride. I want to show you the racetrack I made. This thing's not very fast, so I'm not going to win any races with it. But Basically, I took the mower. I started with the front mower and the... Um, forage wagon and tried to go around just collecting uh, collecting grass just like that um, it ended up being a little messy it wasn't it was difficult so I switched to the front mower and the wind rower and that worked a lot better well, here's my racetrack you see on the right is where I did I tried to do it with the uh, Forge wagon and mower combo. It's really difficult to pick everything up. On the left, I did it with the wind rower. Especially in the corners, look how messy that is. I got a bunch to pick up there. Well, maybe we'll use that to uh, feed, the, feed the sheep we're going to get. I 
couple of obstacles. Nice lake that changes color as we rotate the view a bit. Not sure why that happens. Alright, I don't know. This is kind of boring. It's kind of boring. Bet you there's a gold nugget down there. There are collectibles on this map. We're not going to collect them though. Bet you what I probably should do is go find them all, collect them all, and then deduct all the money. And that way they're not tempting for the future. But we still have a ton of room for fields. Um, this starting land plot is quite big. There's an abundance of trees, and uh, yeah, it's just the hard work. You gotta get just get the work on it. To smooth out this land a little bit here. No, well, anyways, that's my racetrack, guys. I made a racetrack. Okay, what are we doing next? Um, we need to fertilize, I think. Let's look at the fertilizing status of our fields. We might not need to, actually. Those are, those are cut-in fields. Um, they need lime. Oh, I keep forgetting about lime. Jeez. Uh, so this guy here, they don't need fertilizing. This one needs fertilizing. Only that one. So why don't we do that? We'll get that knocked out right away with our fancy weird fertilizer. I don't have a lot of fertilizer left in there, but it doesn't basically use much, so... We'll get these stumps out of here too, those are going to be annoying. So started that a little late. There we go. This thing is fantastic. I can't wait to do our first harvest. As soon as we're done with the this little wheat field, I think we're going to try to expand and add uh, to make sure that we have 15, 15 vines. That would be awesome. 15 rows of vines, I guess. Oh, and this thing turns on nothing. Maybe go over a little bit. It's not much wheat, really, but I figured why have just an empty field doing nothing, right? I think setting up vines are a little expensive. All right, we're done with that. I don't know if these tires are considered narrow tires or not. Doesn't matter. We're not doing not doing uh, crop destruction, but it'd be good to know. All right, this can go right in here. Now this garbage here, uh, we're gonna fix that up. There's a lot of junk and whatnot. I'd like to start using this a bit more. So we are gonna go fix that. We need to go to town though. We need to go to the recycling center. Bring all this stuff back. Clean up the yard. So let me get that done. And I'll be back in a minute. Insert roleplay sequence where I load up trailer with all kinds of junk. Insert part where I walk up to here and I say Recyclage des déchets de la ferme Which means get rid of farm junk And I can bring them back if I wanted to. Isn't that nice? If I like the junky look, I can go back to it.
Oof, I am back. Look at the cleaning up that I did. Isn't that awesome? Super fast. Here's my rock picker. Man. I'm good. I'm good. Alright, guys. Um, yeah, I wanted to get this barn kind of cleaned up. And I found out from uh, one of the other participants on on this challenge and I'm drawing a blank as to the actual channel and uh, channel name it's CS Benji uh, just there's a number associated with it and I don't remember the number uh, check Rusty's uh, um, discord and you'll be able to see who it is I haven't done a good job with documenting that kind of stuff I'm sorry guys okay now we can start putting our stuff away properly I would like to paint in here um, or get rid of all this grass though so and then put in some roads I don't know if I can paint inside can I paint inside let's see I know painting is gonna cost me now so I gotta be careful well, I could even sell that barn if I wanted to. Which is that worth? Only 2000 Okay, uh, landscaping, painting. We're going to put dirt, I guess. How much is this costing me? Oh, man, it's not cheap. Numbers are just going down. I'm going to have to move some stuff around a bit. At least we can get this open, opened up here. I've already got through a couple of few hundred dollars there. Whoops. Alright, let's go back. I'm just going to clean up a little bit. We'll get some more later, but it's costing. It's costing real fast. Okay, um, what's next? What's next? So I'm going to get uh, my trailer. Where is my trailer? What do I do with it. Oh, it's up there. I'm gonna get the trailer. I'm going to pick up the lime. That's in that thing. I'm gonna sell that lime production. We'll just buy our lime. I mean, we can maybe stand up another lime production. Maybe a cheaper one, you know, just near the farm. There's so few rocks that we're going to pick up that it's hardly worth it. But it uh, can't hurt to do a little bit, right? I would like to be able to get our chickens placed, uh, chickens and our sheep going in this episode, so I need this. Are we almost done over there? I prefer to use the other the other tractor to go to town. Hang on. Oh, I think there's just a strip left to do here. Let's do this by hand. So as you can see, new schedule this week. Uh, we now have three episodes of this series. We'll get this moving along. I feel like I'm really behind. Yep, this is episode... Uh, what episode is this? Episode 4? 5. I forget. I forget. Um, some people have already published. By the time this comes out, some people will be in the double digits for episodes on this challenge. I do like to stay on top of it, you know, like stay with the crowd kind of thing. So that development can be appreciated around just the same time. 
It's not a competition, but it is a challenge. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good with this. Let's get this put somewhere. This won't fit inside, so there's no point in even trying. We can throw this over here, I guess. Okay, where's my trailer? I need to fix it, turn it into a lime trailer. And I think our silo, um, I think the silo is multi-fruit, so I can put lime in it, I think. Hope. Otherwise, we're going to be dumping it on the ground. We need it, but we need a lot more than that. Okay. Trailer, customize, 6200 is fine. All right, heading to town. I'll see you guys there. Uh, whoa, what a bad approach that was. Okay, that's it. That's all we got from all the rocks we pick it off the field. Okay, um, ta -da. we're going to sell this, and off it goes. And now our bank account is in good shape. Uh, that's fertilizer, so I can't grab that. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't just buy a bunch of lime right now and put it in the silo. Maybe I should do that. So we've got, uh, I've got room for like 5,000 liters of lime in here. So let's see if we can do that. Um, dum, 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 big bags, lime, and I need five of them. For a thousand each, that's 10, oh no, wait. Hang on, start over. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. That was weird. Okay, bye. 4,000 bucks. That math doesn't work for me. I hope I can just load it, like, right here. No. Oh, damn nabbit. Okay, that sucks. Um, how am I going to deal with that? Right, well, I guess, I guess we're just going to be getting a lime spreader. Yeah, I don't know. I was watching Rusty doing a live stream the other day, Rusty Money Gaming, and he had a spreader, but you would load up the trailer behind him with lime, and that way you could get a lot more more done. I don't know what mods he was using there. That was kind of cool. Okay, good. Hopefully on this one I'll be able to get my stuff back out. Okay, looks good. Alright, um, I'll deal with those lime bags later. Okay, so what's next? Let's get the chickens done. Chickens is going to be a bigger, bigger chicken pen. And I had picked one out, but now I'm thinking I don't remember which one it was some reason I feel like it was near the end. Oh yes, I was going to do the USA White Farm building pack. Um, I use this obviously on a White Farm series. So it's small, but it holds 360 chickens. Oh no, I don't want this. It's got a tiny little uh, loading thing where, where the pallets spawn. Um, 
Yeah, and you're constantly having to get the pallets out, so no, we're not going to do that. Change my mind. Uh, I would like, I want like more than a hundred chickens. It'd be nice to have something that looks good too. 15,450 chickens. These guys are, I think they're kind of like free range maybe. What does that look like? Oh no, it's a small inside pen. No, I don't want that. What's this? 35, that's too low. Bavarian. That's no. I want I like seeing the chickens. 700. Oh boy. 500. I don't want that many. It's a lot of feed. 50. 360. 150 free range. Do I want free range? It's only 2,000 though. Boy, that's cheap. That's very attractive. Oh boy, maybe I should do this. I could put them like over here somewhere. Maybe with free range though, it feels weird. 80, 40. Like they're just out loose, but they still stay within a certain range, I guess. B6, that's 20,000. I would love something under 10. What's this? 15,000. That's big. That's the one I'm using on Comlands right now. Here we go. 9,000 for 360 chickens. That's their outdoors, but they're fenced in. Why don't we do this? Let's do this. I want to do this. I'm doing this. There we go. There we go. Then some more money on. There we go. Okay. All right. This goes in. You can come and check out the chickens. Awesome. Pallets spawn here. Okay. Um, that's awesome. So we're made some progress. We've got two animal pens up. Oh, obviously, I need to get some animals in there, but uh, we've got two animal pens up. Flour mills ready to go. We've got some wheat growing. We've got some oats growing. Uh, we're going to have a grass field to be able to feed the sheep and the horse. Hopefully the horse doesn't die because this looks glitchy to me. I don't understand why the health is at zero. I don't know if riding impacts health, but if we look at if we look at this, um, riding should impact the fitness level, right? Well, health is zero. This is this to me zero percent health means dead. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get some more food in there soon. It's one horse, so it's not really eating much. No. Okay. Productive episode, for sure. Got lucky with that. Being able to sell the, uh, the line production. I'm going to have a look and see if there's a cheap line production we can put right on the farm. That way we'll make some of our lime, but uh, ultimately we need a lot more than what stones we might be picking up. But this is a mulcher. It leans a little bit, or it's it's off to the left a little bit. And I'm wondering if I shouldn't be doing this with the other tractor. This might not be close enough. Seems to be working okay. Although I think I'm just supposed to be a bit closer.
Yeah, it looks not too bad. I didn't do a very good job going this way. You can see, like, I left a bunch there. I don't know how accurate you're supposed to be. Like, I have no idea. This vine, vine work has not really been a focus of mine in, for FS22. When it first came out, I hated it. I didn't want to do it at all. Yeah, not great. Yeah, I might try with the other tractor. I think I can get a little bit closer. Well, we'll put this aside for now. We'll get the other tractor. Um, before we do that, why don't we get the stumps that are right around us, the vineyard and the, the fields. We'll have to start cutting in another field, but I'm not totally happy with, um, not totally happy with the plow that I have. It takes a really long time to get stuff done. So we might change that out. It took me a really long time to make that big field. Like, I think it was like over an hour. I'm not that patient of a guy, you know. There should be two stumps here, one on one in between the uh, deep pen and the other one just at the end of the field. So let's grab this one first. Right in here somewhere. There it is. Struggling a bit. There we go. This isn't the fastest stump grinder that I've worked with, but it does a trick. We will upgrade this skid steer uh, when we can afford it. This one's noisy. Put this away. We might, won't need this for a little bit, I don't think. All right. Mulching. Let's see if we can get in a lot closer with this tractor. Ooh, should have left more room. I won't do it all here, but I just wanna just wanna show you my new gadget. So I think I have to go, because it goes a little bit to one side, I think I have to respect that while I'm... While I'm trying to mulch. Oops. Meaning, uh, you know, I shouldn't be going down the right side right now. Oops. Not so much the grass, too. Don't want that. I want to see if I can fix up this guy. Missed a few bits.
No. Those are difficult spots. Okay, so I guess maybe I can't get everything. Yeah, no. Okay. Alright, I can't go for perfection, I don't think. Well, I can go for it, but I have to be ready to not achieve it. Okay. So, uh, a few things I want to do. I'm just sorry, guys. I'm just kind of showing you what I, what I can possibly do off camera. Um, but I need to get some feed for the sheep. We'll get the sheep started right away. We'll order some sheep in, but I'm going to try. What I'm going to do is all that stuff I missed. Um, I think I'm going to try to gather it up so we'll have some food to get the sheep going. But I think I feel like I need to windrow it first. Make things a lot easier. Okay, reverse windrow. Put the windrow around the front. Okay, let me see if I can knock this out real quick. I don't think this is going to be a ton of grass here, but just a couple of bits on the side. Particularly in this corner, I should be able to get should be able to get a bit. Yeah, this isn't much at all. I don't. I think I might be wasting my time here. I have to go back the other way as well. This is going to be like a measly amount. Okay, give me one second. I'll see if I can finish wind rowing this and then we'll try to pick it up. See how much we get. And we'll get some sheep. I gotta go buy some food for chickens. We have enough that we can probably get both going. We have enough money. That'll be income. Um, won't be super fast income or anything, but... Alright, I said I'd see you guys when I was done this, but I keep talking. Stop talking. Press 2, stop talking. Wait. Yeah, I think I'm wasting my time here. I'm not gonna get much. I should just mow some more. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having our field where we can get a worker doing the field. Get that automated a little bit. Alright, let's see how much we don't get. At least we'll get it off the, off the ground. Not all of it though, just most of it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that I've used that sheep pen before. I want to say that's the one that I used on the fish doll series. Uh, fish, fish, fish doll, fish doll. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and I seem to remember it doesn't hold a lot, a lot of grass or hay. It's got like a little shed there where you can store. Um, Bales, if you wanted to. Yeah, this is a, this is not much at all. It's okay though. It's something, right? Okay, let me grab this one little strip down here. This one is actually a good swath. The real swath. Probably get more out of this than I got out of the whole rest of what I just tried to pick up. And I am correct on that. 
Okay. That should be enough to get our sheep going. So let's do that. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, I'd love to paint in all kinds of roads and stuff, but man, when you gotta pay for the paint, that's a, a whole new ball game. Okay, please tell me I can back up and unload this. Oh, good. Okay, shall we buy some sheep? What kind of sheeps are we going to get? Uh, let's just get the white ones. And uh, 488. And if I get 30 of those, that's six. And it'll be about 12,000. Okay, so I think I'm just going to get the young ones. I don't know when they start producing wool. I don't need them to, to reproduce. I just need them to produce wool. Uh, let's see the difference here. Breeding. Yeah, I don't need breeding. Well, I kind of would like breeding, but not with, you know, I'm at capacity. So let's just do this. Let's see how much wool they generate. And now they need some water as well. And grass is full. It's actually, there's still some in here. Oh boy. Okay. I guess we'll leave this here. Yeah, if I remember correctly, this thing you have to keep keep at it. Okay. Um, what's next? What do I need to do? Um, let me get the water. The water is in the horse pen. A sickly horse. Watch it. I think it's a bug. I think it's a kind of a bug. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, there's already a bit of water in there, so we'll use that up. Actually, let's just fill. Let's just fill up. It's water, it's water. If I don't use it all, I'll use it for the horses. I get charged for this, though. $125 for 2,000 liters of water. That's pricey water, man. Of course, I parked in a very awkward place. Oh, this water thing, too. It's like, and I don't think it's the pen, I think it's this waterer that, um, the, the um, hitbox, I guess, for lack of a better term, is off on this. A bug on that mod, I think. Okay, so they're watered and fed at capacity. There's 30 of them in there, they're good for a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to head to town. Um, I need to bring some feed for the chickens because I don't have any. So I think what I'll do. I just want one bag for now. So, to get one bag, I'll just grab the weight, the front loader with the pallet forks.
I think we can carry one bag back. We'll have to go get more, you know. Um, be a little bit before the wheat's ready. Try to maybe use the wheat for mostly the chickens, but I'd like to get that flower part of the challenge done. I need to build more sheds. I think I have to add two more sheds. Then after that, the stage two is going to be a much bigger gap. That's where I have to buy another piece of land. I'm going from memory here. I have to look at the, uh, the rules again. All right. No, not construction. Any good deals in here? 135. That's interesting. Not really. Nope. Uh, okay. Food. The chickens. Wheat. 1400 for a thousand. Let me just look at this for a second. 1500 for a thousand. So it's always better deal. There's also pallets uh, in here. I can look at the prices for feed. Flour, raisins, all kinds of... Uh, I want the pallets. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, wheat, 1500 for 1050 Uh, That's about the same. I'll just keep it simple. I'll just keep it simple. Just get a bag. They're just a little bit more awkward to carry. Chicken feed, just one. And that bag looks big compared to the others. not be a problem. Tempted to try to get the rest of that fertilizer too. I don't know how much is in that bag. Ah, the other bag's dragging. What do you think? I think I can carry both. Going uphill, I think I'm good. Going downhill, I think I'd be in trouble. That fertilizer bag doesn't seem to have much in it. Oh boy. And figure this. It works better on the grass. Come on, Bessie. I think there's an upgrade for this tractor as well. Could be wrong, though. No. Alright, let's head to the chicken pen right away. And then whatever's left um, of the fertilizer, I'll just leave it by the... Uh, I'll just leave it by the seed drill. Okay, so this one should go... Oh boy. Wobbly. There we go. Hopefully it'll take all of it. Okay, how much... I gotta get a chicken. Another pet peeve. Gotta buy an animal to find out how much this thing holds. Uh, select... I can do 360, so I think what I'm going to do is just start with 30 for now. And always need one rooster. Got to have one rooster at least. Oops. There we go. Okay, now I can see how much... Oh, this, this can hold a lot more. All right. We'll deal with that. This guy here, I'm going to drop it off by the seed drill. Since that's the only way we're fertilizing uh, for the uh, 
you know, using solid, I guess. Actually, can I just put it in here? I'm not tall enough. That's part of the problem with this tractor. Uh, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Can I connect this with the weight on? Yep. Awkward, but yeah. And we'll just fill that up. There we go. Problem solved. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. Got a bunch of stuff knocked out. In the next episode, I think we're going to... Uh, what are we going to do for next episode? I guess we're going to be selling this silage soon. 42%, so that'll be maybe next month. And then uh, we'll probably move on to November. We are doing two-day months. Uh, I just switched it to one-day months just to move stuff along faster. Um, because at the end of the day, if I didn't like it, I was just going to sleep an extra day. Um, so it makes no real difference. But I am going to uh, maybe work and do this mulching here. Make it all nice. Plants are looking great now. And, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do next episode. I, I'm going to assume that there might be another field coming up, either off camera or during the next episode, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this, please consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you know anything about how, why this horse is at zero health, let me know. Uh, maybe I'm just not getting it. I hope you guys have a great day.